The Retron 77 is an Atari 2600 emulator that runs on a multi-platform emulator called Stella. To expand the capability and compatibility on your Retron 77, you will want to upgrade your Stella to the latest version. It's super simple how to do that, and I'm gonna show you how. So on the back of your Retron 77 is a little micro SD slot. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take that out, and then you're gonna plug that SD card into your PC. Although I did read somewhere it will work on a Mac, when I plugged my SD card into the Mac, it didn't recognize it. You're also gonna wanna use a Windows unit at some point because that's how you're gonna get ROMs onto the SD card. The ROMs are Atari 2600 games that you can download from the internet, place on the SD card, and you can play them directly on the Retron 77 itself. That's gonna be a different video. If you wanna see how to put ROMs on your Retron 77, then go ahead and click the, go ahead and click the video right there. Next, you're going to want to download a disk imager called Bellina Etcher. Now I'm recommending Bellina Etcher because it is the most simple, easy to use disk imager that I have come across. Three simple steps and you're done. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Warning right here, please know, do this at your own risk. If you choose the wrong disk to image, you can really screw something up. So make sure you are selecting the SD card to re-image. The first thing you wanna do is go ahead and download the disk image for the Retron 77 SD card. You can do that by going to the Stella link that's provided in the notes below and you see on the screen here. So here's all the latest releases for Stella. You can see that there's PC versions, Mac versions, so you can play Atari 2600 games on your PC and Mac as well, but this is specifically for the Retron 77. So we're gonna go down to the bottom and you'll see this native port for the Retron 77 link. You click on that, you'll go to its page. The instructions are here, but I'm gonna walk you through this. Um, the first thing you want to do is see this sdcard.img. That is the image file for the SD card, obviously. So click on that. It will download to your downloads. Okay, once that is done downloading, you're going to want to download Bellina Etcher first. Go ahead and install that. The links are also in the notes below. So once you download and install, go ahead and launch Bellina Etcher, and you'll see this screen right here. Three steps. Select the image. Click there, and you'll see in the downloads your sdcard.img. Go ahead and open that. Now we're gonna select the target. This is where you need to be very careful. Select the SD card that you inserted. Now you see you come up here. Uh, I'm gonna select continue. And the last step is to click flash. This will start the imaging process. It's done. Now that the image has been written to the SD card, take it out of your PC and put it back into your Retron 77. Plug this in and you're ready to go. One important thing that really baffled me. Let me show you what it looks like when you turn on the Retron without the upgrade and then what it looks like when you turn it on with the upgrade. This is really important because I thought I was doing it wrong at first, but I wasn't. Okay, so I just put in the old SD card. I had one backed up of the original Stella that came with the Retron 77. And when you turn the Retron on without a cartridge, this is the screen you get. It shows files that are loaded on the card. And you can see there's the license. And then if you were to scroll across uh, a couple games, it was preloaded with the card. So if you plug in the newly imaged SD card and turn it on, without a cartridge in. This is what you'll see. Absolutely nothing. Again, you have to add some ROMs to the SD card so you get some sort of interface up. I created a games folder in the root directory of the SD card and I placed all the Atari 2600 games into that directory. Now you can see here, this is, this is what the screen looks like when you have ROMs loaded into the games directory. 
you get the new Stella interface and a navigation system where you can browse the games. Since I put all of the Atari 2600 games on this SD card, I have them separated by three different alphabetical folders. So if we were to select A through G, you would see all of the games that you can scroll down. Check that out. All the Atari 2600 games right there. So just to show you, I'll select Adventure, put it on mode two, start the game. We're off and running. Notice the scan lines give it a little bit more of that classic look and feel. Anyway, that's it. Super easy to do. If you want to see how to put all the Atari 2600 games on the Retron 77, go ahead and click the other video and we'll show you how to do that. And that's it. That's all you have to do to upgrade Stella on your Retron 77. I hope you found this very useful. If you did, please subscribe, hit the bell. It really means a lot to me and I'll keep cranking out more videos. So thanks a lot.